Man, if you don't remember nothing else that I say in this video, remember, hoes do hoe activity. Jezebels do Jezebel activity. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Closer to God Ministries, where we push forward in the kingdom of the Most High Yah. Closer to God Ministries is for those who really want to learn true submission, true obedience, reverence, and a fear of the Most High Yah. One thing about Closer to God Ministries is I'm not afraid to push the envelope. There's a lot of things that go on in the world that need to be addressed, but religious leaders won't talk about it. Closer to God Ministries, I'm pushing forward. Each man must be convinced in his own mind. I'm going to give you the disclaimer. This is not for everybody. If you're somebody that has a soft spirit, a sensitive spirit, you don't like that hard truth that can set you free, this is not for you. But if you choose to stay tuned, don't just run off on the plug with my content. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, turn your notifications on so you can see when I'm posting new content. And then if you really want to support the channel, check out the doggone link in the description for some exclusive discount codes. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Glory to the most high, Yash Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit Filled episode. Today we back at it handling that kingdom business. We in the trenches cooking it up once again. Man, I hope that every person that has that Jezebel, that Delilah, that Proverbs 5, that wicked spirit in them can get delivered, can come into a relationship and be in a covenant with the Most High Yah. Man, there's a, uh, a post out there where this man pretty much took him and his wife to a Dave East concert. Dave East is a rapper. And um, his wife ended up going missing for like three days. And right when they was getting ready to leave the show, she had a bathroom emergency and said she had to go to the bathroom, which was backstage. When I tell you hoes will do hoe activity, Jezebels will do Jezebel activity. Man, this is, just cause you got a ring on her finger don't mean that she gonna do right by you. I did videos talking about these wedding rings is not even scriptural. It's a, it's a whole facade behind making money. But I'ma give you guys some game and I'ma give you some wisdom. I'm not inviting my wife or I'm not buying my, my wife no tickets to go see no Chris Brown, no R. Kelly, no, no, no Ronald Isley. It just ain't happening. She wanna go to a concert, we'll find us a gospel concert to go to. Bottom line, point blank, period. But me, I don't, I don't take pleasure in doing things where lust is involved. A lot of these concerts where these women wanna get backstage they want to be, they, they, they lust over these men that singing these songs. They getting moist in their draws over these songs. They ain't thinking about no righteousness. They ain't thinking about no most high Yah. So it's not, it's not strange for me to understand that, man, you take your wife to see Dave East, Chris Brown, Jacquees or whatever, whoever. She got a backstage pass, that hoe gonna come out. That Jezebel gonna come out. And for that split second in her mind, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. That feeling and emotion that comes up over her is now her react is now her reality. Man, I got I got Dave East's attention. I got R. Kelly's attention. I got Jacquees attention. I got Chris Brown's attention. Oh, I'ma make, I'ma make them remember this. It's only one thing. These rappers and celebrities, they're not wiping up groupies. They're not, they're not. So now this man got a hard choice he got to make. And I hope he forgive her, but he needs to deal with her accordingly. Deal with her accordingly. And then no, you kind of kind of set yourself up for this one. Inviting your wife to somewhere where she can lust over somebody else. I'm not taking my wife to no meet and greets, no none of that. And at the same extent, I'm not drooling over. I don't care if there was a Beyonce meet and greet and she called my house directly. Talking about, I want to meet you. No, I'm not going. I don't want no part of that. B 
Beyonce ain't attractive to me. She wicked. I know what time it is, scripturally. By the rule I could have most high y'all. I know she got some demons in there. Talking about I want a meet and greet and want a signature. Want no dog on autograph from no demon? Man, I tell you this, man. You might want to be careful inviting your doggone wives, your spouse, to all these places with celebrities. And you just a regular old, old person trying to get by, trying to do by, trying to do right by your family. NBA games, football games. You up here trying to spend your life savings on front row seats, backstage passes, and what's happening? Just like this woman goes missing for three days later and then texts her husband talking about she's gonna catch an Uber home. Yeah, you need to find a new home. You need to find a new home. I try to give you, I try to give you the wisdom before you get yourself in this because this man got some choices to make. And it sucks if he's got kids. But I told you, man, a woman's feelings and emotions are her fact. And that fact of feelings and emotion is her reality in that moment. And she willing to put it all on the line for Dave East. Man, don't even want her. Don't even want her. Probably showed her a little attention. All the homeboys probably, hey, was like, yeah, you know, you get down with us, we got you. I'm telling you, man, the best thing you can do as a man is to wash your woman in the word, even if she don't want it because chances are she don't even know what protection you trying to provide her. She might be thinking about protection from harm in the world in the physical, but she might not even be thinking about that doggone demonic protection that you providing, that you are running off these demons from her. You can't have a relationship that is precious to you and then take it amongst people that's lawless. You can't do it. The law was made for the lawless people. Man, you might want to think twice before going to these concerts, letting your woman go on a girl's trip, all this nonsense. And this is one thing I tell you. It's not a matter of you telling them that they can't go because grown people going to do what grown people do. But the fact of the matter is, as a man, you need to stand up and say, hey, I don't stand for this. You see me trying to go to a Beyonce concert, an LMA concert, no, what make you think your butt going? And then if they go and do all this foolishness, hey, you ain't you, you've done what you were supposed to do as a man. You've done what you're supposed to do. Now that they have made that bed, let them lay in it. Let them lay in it. Talking about you, you gone. Ain't no way, only lawyer that a woman like that could use is Jada Pinkett. Cause she made, she was the same woman that interviewed her husband about her cheating on him. That's the only woman that you're going to find that will flip it and make it seem like she didn't do nothing wrong for being gone for three days. Three days away from her husband. I told you, man, a lot of these modern women that's playing church, they want these vacations and these girls trips so they can go be sinful. Bottom line, bottom line. See, there's a difference between the children of Yashriel being obedient, filled with the Ruach of the Father, filled with the Ruach of the Most High Yah, and enjoying doing what the Most High Yah has asked us to do. But everybody ain't there. Man, sucks to see this nonsense, man, but I too can remember when I was lost and didn't have this guidance. That's why Close to the God Ministries go so hard in it. Close to the God Ministries kicking a gun barrel straight. Wow.